What's up guys? Welcome back to the Whaley build. Um, before I start tearing into the boat, I want to address the trailer and get it sorted. And in order to do that, I had to install three, what I consider to be must have mods. So starting from the back of the trailer, we'll work our way up quick video, but some really good stuff for trailers. If you're looking to make your trailer a little bit more user friendly. So here we are at the back of the boat. And in order to do this mod, I needed to get the motor on the transom in place. Um, and that mod is a transom saver. This is kind of a must have if you're trailering your boat long distances and if you're going to uh, transport it with the motor in an, in an extended position. Uh, not only does it get the motor away from the ground, but it also supports the weight, the cantilevered weight of the motor uh, onto the trailer. I chose to mount this permanently onto the trailer. I moved some of the hardware around. Um, on this particular transom saver, there was a removable pin with a cotter pin in it, uh, in the middle of it, um, and a screw down by the mounting bracket for the trailer. I switched those around so that whenever I get the boat where it needs to go, I can remove the transom saver from the trailer toss it in the back of my truck and, and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Moving forward on the trailer, uh, we have some boat buckles. They're super easy install. It's just a matter of drilling a single hole through the trailer, installing some hardware, and that's it. And what they are is a retracting um, strap. So gone are the days where you have to take the straps off of your boat, or anything you have tied down um, and then tossing them in the car or f trying to find them when you're done. Uh, these stay connected to the trailer. Really cool design. Um, all you do is release the brake here, pull the strap up, connect it to the other strap on the other side of the boat. Of course, I will go beneath this, um, this rope here ratchet it on down and then put the handle into the locking position it's really nice um, i think these have like a 455 pound load limit working load um, the strap itself is is like um, a seat belt material it's one inch wide and six feet long um, I can't remember the actual model of these boat buckles. It's either called the G3 or the Mini. Um, a lot of the other ones were only like four feet. And since I wanted to wrap it around the entire width of the boat, I needed to get the longest model. Um, but this will be plenty, um, plenty strong enough for what I need it to do. I mean, all it needs to do is keep the boat from sliding off the trailer. And then when it comes time to unstrapping the boat, you just reverse the procedure, turn the brake off, disconnect the straps from each other, and it retracts within itself, and you lock it down. Great, I, I just think these are fantastic products. And last on my list for must-have trailer mods is the Fulton Trailer Tongue Hinge. It requires you to do a little bit of wiring and cutting through the tongue, but all in all might have taken two hours of work. And what it did for me was turn what was a 20 foot long trailer into something that fits in a 14 foot linear space. So in order to make this work, I did have to move the tongue jack uh, behind the bow railer support. Um, otherwise it would be connected to the swing portion of it. And this buys me as much real estate as possible. Um, I, can, I can fold more trailer tongue away. I did end up cutting about 17 inches off the total length of the tongue just because I simply don't need it. But it opens up a whole lot of real estate in the garage. And this was the 
first thing that I thought of when I was considering trailer modifications. So there you go guys, there's a quick video of my three must-have trailer modifications. Um, not the most exciting video, which is why I just did a quick recap on them, but certainly three things that I think are necessary, at least for my application. Uh, next up will be the steering and throttle cable installs. And uh, I'm probably going to need some help with that. So stay tuned and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.